and the uh, Americans threw them B-29s in there and dropped food and stuff. They, wow. They'd come over and uh, they'd fly out of China, I think, or somewhere. So early in the morning, they'd get there by 12 o'clock at noon, and they'd, they'd drop them uh, parachute food stuff, mm -hmm. rifles, ammunition, and all that stuff, radios or whatever, you know. And uh, they fly them, I'm from, them suckers are big planes, they fly them suckers, load <laughs> them guys hanging out of Bombay is a waving. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Are those the first Americans you had seen? Well, let's see now. Because you, you've been in the camp for a while. Well, got another story. Mm hmm. There's some people, fellas, who uh, uh, parachuted. We saw them parachuted oh, a couple miles away from where we was at. We didn't know who they were or anything, thought they might be Japanese. And it turned out to be they was Americans. Mm. And the Jap picked them up. They said, The war's over. Huh. Wow. And the Jap didn't even know the war was over. And they told me it's over. They finally got the radio in Tokyo. They found the war was over. So they came to that camp and uh, they had uh, one Japanese and American, one American Japanese, mm -hmm. one Chinese American. Oh my gosh! A uh, 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 medical corpsman and a uh, captain. I can't remember what his name was, but, but anyway. Uh, but they they came there to our camp and everything, you know. And we got to talk to them and everything, and and uh, they, uh, that captain on that thing, twenty or thirty since I've been living here, he called me up one day. Really? Huh? And, since uh, you've been living here, the captain from that POW camp? Yeah. Well, no, he was. He's a guy. Of, you he's, oh yes, ma'am. I sure do. How about you? Do you have a sweet love? Is that all you want? Mm -hmm. I got cream and all. Just one sweetener. Okay. Bill, how much you want in yours? Just cream. My cream. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, he called me up since I've been living here. Uh, he looked me up from somewhere or another. That's so crazy. He lived what were the. I didn't know about that. But anyway, uh. Wow. But they, they was the first Americans we saw. They came okay. To camp. And uh, they. they, they Bombers flew over and dropped pamphlets and said, this is a United States Army camp, the same day officer being in charge, which is a general, you know. So it became an Army camp, and they allowed us to go out in the morning and come back at night because Russians had a curfew. Anybody on the street would be shot after dark, you know. Oh, gee, okay. It's a good incentive to come back in. I'd say so. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good reason to come back in. <laughs> But anyway, uh, at one, at one of these times, we was up in Buckton, and one of them man sure at the time told, so look, we got a place over here just for Americans. And uh, everybody don't know about it. He said, I can take you over here if you want to. So he took us through that back alley and everything through a door. Went into a big old room. They had a band playing American music, a Chinese group. playing American Manchus, you know. And, uh, I tried. And, uh, wow. And uh, had a lot of people, some other POWs. Oh, thank you we very much. We come 